Now let's get back to the studio for Ethan's interview with Cyan about Poetry Out Loud. Hi, I'm Ethan Messiker, and today I'll be interviewing Zyan Reza, who placed second in the State Poetry Out Loud competition. Hi, Zyan. Hi. So, how did you first get involved in Poetry Out Loud? Um, I first got involved with Poetry Out Loud when I entered high school in ninth grade about three years ago. I was talking to my teacher, Mrs. Hewitt, who was also like the English teacher at El Camino, and uh, she brought Poetry Out Loud to our school, and so she knew a lot about it, and she kind of helped me through the process. And that's how I kind of found out about it, and then how I started getting more involved with it. Okay. And exactly what is it? What Poetry Allowed is a um, program under the National Endowment for the Arts, and it's basically a poetry recitation competition. It's national, and it's for high schools all across America. And basically, there's like four levels. So like the first one is like school level, if you win that. Um, you go to county, and then there's state, and then nationals. Okay. And you made it up. How far did you make it? I went to state. Okay. And, um, yeah. If you win nationals, it's like uh, a $20,000 scholarship. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot at stake. Okay. Yeah. And uh, have you always had this passion for poetry, or is this something relatively new with Poetry Out Loud? Um, I think I've always had a passion for creative writing more mm -hmm. than anything, but poetry is like... A form of that and so I think I like the general term creative writing but um, since I started high school I think I became more familiar with poetry and so my general interest started, grow started growing but um, other than that I've never really been that interested in poetry up until now obviously okay yeah and so you you made it to the um, to Sacra up to Sacramento. Mm -hmm. um, how was that what was the trip like? <clears throat> Sacramento was so cool mm -hmm. it felt like kind of a news like another state mm -hmm. um but it was so cool because it was such a different um sort of vibe than like here in like ventura county um it was so green there mm -hmm. um the buildings were all like super you know high tech and like very very like distinguishable buildings and so i got to see the state capitol i got to like perform in there and um it was like amazing really okay yeah. that's cool uh, so what was it like working beside so many other talented people? Um, I think there was like a, competi a competitiveness to it, like there was an edge definitely, but most of the people were really, really friendly and um, it was nice to get to know people who had, you know, the same kind of passion mm -hmm. um, for the stuff that you do and um, they were all like really talented. So it was really cool to see them perform because it was al almost like seeing stories like come alive on stage and so that's really cool like wherever you are to see would you yeah. say you got a lot of pressure from that and i mean how do you how do you handle that um i think there was a lot of pressure just because people are so talented and it's like if you don't see that beforehand you, see, you definitely see it when you're at the state level mm -hmm. um so it was you know a little bit tough at first but um i think if you realize that you're there for the same reason and you got to the same place it's yeah. like easy to kind of overcome that and you realize like why you're there and what you're there to do obviously do, do you think that that kind of pressure elevates your your performance um, um yeah definitely i think it adds something to your performance i think it adds more passion i think it gives you sort of like a platform to work off of um i think pressure is something that just helps, you know, it can be a little annoying, but it definitely helps in the long run because um, your adrenaline starts growing and you, and you really feel like you have to connect to the poem and it really helps you to connect to the poem in the long run, yeah. Okay. So what, ma what motivated you to get into this competition? Um, I think mostly with my teacher at first. Um, and then after that, after I got to county, and after I won county actually, um, I remember there was uh, the, the coach from another school, I think the school that won second place in county. Um, she came up to me and she's like, uh, you better bring back a trophy for Ventura County. And I was like, oh, like, I, I didn't know like that's never happened. And 
she said, yeah, you know, it'd be so cool to see, you know, people from Ventura County representing and, you know, at the state and stuff. And so it was like, that kind of motivated me a lot because when I got there, I kind of remember that. And it was really like, um, cool to see, like, you know, to see that kind of come to life. And you have, you got second place. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good title. Yeah. Uh, what does it feel like to hold that now? Um, super cool. I think it's, it's kind of like the in between, between like winning and like mm -hmm. placing mm -hmm. because second place, like, I know like it says a lot but also like you see like where you have to go and like where you have to improve and um, it really was an honor even getting that far because yeah. there were so many talented you know high schoolers and they were all like super just there and they were all super passionate and it was like super cool to kind of like beat the odds there. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Zyan, for joining us today, and congratulations on uh, all your accomplishments with Poetry Out Loud, and best of luck to all your future endeavors. And now, Zyan will read one of the poems she competed in Sacramento with, Frances Harper's Let the Light Enter. Let the Light Enter by Frances Ellen Watkins Harper. The dying words of Goethe. Light, more light. The shadows deepen and my life is ebbing low. Throw the windows widely open. Light, more light before I go. Softly let the balmy sunshine play around my dying bed. Ere the dimly lighted valley I with lonely feet must tread. Light, more light, for death is weaving shadows round my waning sight. And I fain would gaze upon him through a stream of earthly light. Not for greater gifts of genius, not for thoughts more grandly bright, all the dying poet whispers is a prayer for light, more light. Heeds he not the gathered laurels fading slowly from his sight. All the poet's aspirations center in that prayer for light. Gracious Savior, when life's daydreams melt and vanish from the sight, May our dim and longing vision then be blessed with light, more light. That's all we have for today's show. Join us next time on ECTV.